GarageBand makes it really easy to chop up your audio, MIDI or drum tracks. Here's how it works. Chopping up audio regions is probably the most straightforward, so we'll start there. First off, click on the audio region or audio regions. You can cut multiple at the same point simultaneously you want to cut. Move the playhead to the point where you want the cut to occur. Then you can do one of two things. You can head to Edit in GarageBand's toolbar, then select Split Regions at Playhead. Or use the keyboard shortcut Command and T. Whichever way you do this, your region will now be split into separate parts, allowing you to delete any unwanted bits from the track and move the parts independently from each other. The process is really similar for MIDI regions. Move the playhead into position, then use either the edit menu or keyboard shortcut to split. Now, depending on whether you've quantized your MIDI regions or not, and where you've made your cut, you may find that you lose MIDI notes at the point where you've made your cut. To fix this, select your MIDI region, then open GarageBand's editor. That's the pencil icon in the top left of the screen. In the editor window in this project, you can see the notes here, but they've been cut off and they don't play back when I play back the project. I can hover the cursor over the end of the notes until the cursor changes, then resize the notes by dragging them to the size I want. Quantizing your MIDI regions before chopping them up can help to minimize this. You chop up drummer tracks in much the same way. Select a region, move the playhead, then cut using the keyboard shortcut Command and T, or by diving into the edit menu. Depending where you make your cut, you may affect your drummer's performance. If you have the drummer set to play fills, you'll notice that they do this at the end of each drummer region. When you split a drummer region into two, for example, your drummer will play a fill at the end of both new smaller regions. To change this, select the region where you don't want drum fills to occur. Open the drummer editor by clicking the pencil icon in the top left again. Then turn fills off completely using the fills dial. It's important to make sure you're only selecting the single drummer region here and not the whole drummer track, as this will turn off fills for the whole track. Thanks for watching to the end. If you found this video helpful, then please give that like button a good hard slap. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. If you want to find out how you can make your own custom instruments in GarageBand, watch this next. <laughs>